I always wanted to play the viola. In sixth grade at Coral Way Elementary School in Miami, there are about 89 12-year-old students and myself in the back of the room. It's an experimental classroom called a pod. A little bit, just a few blocks away from Little Havana. And there we are, seated on the floor on that industrial carpet, and we're waiting for the presentation. The junior high school orchestra was going to recruit students. So the director, Mrs. Nunn, was getting everyone organized, and the students were all sitting down. And one by one, she asked the students if they would demonstrate their instrument. And the goal was for you to pick the one that you liked the best. So I'm sitting there very anxious. And first, the violinist plays a little bit. And I thought, oh, that's a little bit too small and scratchy. And then the cellist, and then the bass player. And then Mrs. Nunn had to play the viola because there was no student to play the viola. When I heard that sound, I thought, wow, beautiful, rich tone. That's the instrument I want to play. I didn't think it would be a problem. Only $25 for a whole year. So I filled out the paperwork. Then the summer came, and it was time to go to the first practice. Poppy drove me over to the junior high school, a four-story junior high school, just a few blocks away. Up and down the stairs a million times, looking for the orchestra room. Everyone told me the orchestra room is on the fourth floor. It's really horrible to be small and lost. On my way up one of these trips, I found my friend, Summer Dowda, and she said, oh, it's okay, Bessie, it's okay, come with me. So I followed her into the band room, and there were a lot of students kind of seated the way you're seated here today, but on risers. And Mr. Hill is the band director, and he has a clipboard and he's interviewing each of the students, one by one. And what would you like to play? And what's your name? And what would you like to play? He gets to Summer, and she's so proud. I'm going to play the flute, because my mommy played the flute in high school, and I have my own instrument. He was very pleased. And then he came to me. And I'm thinking, just tell him you're lost. <laughs> But the word flute came out. So he loaned me a flute. It was his personal flute for a year. Terrible tone, no vibrato, fuzzy, seventh chair out of 14, could never move up. The summer before eighth grade, Mr. Hill came up to me and he said, Bessie, I'm going to be short one saxophone player next year. Would you like to switch? So, okay, it was pretty hard to convince my parents to buy me this American instrument. A whole year of no vibrato. I was first chair in the stage band, but I couldn't improvise the girl from Ipanema. <laughs> so the summer before ninth grade, Mr. Hill came up to me and he said, Bessie, you won't believe it. The school board sent us nine new clarinets. Why don't you take one home? There was also a book in the music library called How to Play the Clarinet. So I took that home and I took this clarinet. It was broken, but no one told me. <laughs> <laughs> In three months, I learned to play the clarinet and could play better than anyone else in the entire school. And at the end of the year, Mr. Hill presented me with the most outstanding musician award.
Mami says, nadie en esta familia puede tocar música. Nadie tiene talento. ¿Por qué estás gastando todo este tiempo? No one in this family has any musical talent. Why are you wasting your time? <laughs>